All right, guys. Today, we're gonna have a serious conversation about something that I don't normally talk about. We're gonna talk about stream sniping, okay? I don't normally talk about stream sniping because this is one of those problems that you face as a streamer that is very, very, very hard to relate to if you're not a streamer, okay? This is the equivalent of somebody going into like a public forum and complaining about like the returns that they're getting on like a Roth IRA or something. And you've got like a bunch of people that work at like McDonald's or Burger King and you're not that like one is inherently better than the other, but just that like these are issues and concerns that not everybody has and it seems like you're in a great position of privilege when you complain about them, which to some extent is true, right? But that doesn't make the complaints any less valid, so. All right. So, first of all, the, I feel like the conversation of stream sniping... I, I watched Richard Lewis's video on this today. I don't know if his hatred of um, streamers is part in, in part influenced by his hatred for me. Uh, now, I would say that Richard Lewis isn't that petty, except he's shown himself to be that petty many times before, but... Um, regardless, if you if you want to watch Richard Lewis's video on this first, I'm going to be responding line by line to a lot of the really stupid things that he says in that video. Um, <clears throat> and then just kind of like complaints in general. I notice that when people talk about stream stabbing, they talk about like really, really weird things. Um, they, like the arguments that they bring up are very non sequitur. They're, they're, they're very random. They're very irrational. Um, we'll, we'll get into all of that. But before we start, I just kind of want to lay the foundation for this discussion that I feel is never really laid out. And I'm not going to try to sound circular in my argument, but once you lay the foundation out, I think that stream sniping becomes pretty indefensible. But we'll see. Um, I want to find bandages. I don't want to waste my first egg yet, but you know what? I'll use it just so people don't get so triggered in this video. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all... <clears throat> oh, shit. I'm going to be meeting donations during this so they don't cook everything up, all right? Ignore this Twitch sucks. All right. Okay. Um, so, first of all, okay, what is streaming? And, and who enjoys streaming, okay? So, streaming is obviously when somebody broadcasts their gameplay on the internet, okay? Who benefits from streaming? There are three major parties that benefit. The streamer themselves benefit, clearly, because streamers have made, progressively, more and more money as the years have gone on, of course. So the streamers are, um, the streamers are definitely benefiting. The viewers benefit, obviously, because the viewers for games and streaming in general has only grown and grown and grown, um, and unless people are being forced to watch streams at gunpoint in increasingly large numbers, I think it's safe to say that people enjoy watching streams. So the, the, the viewers have the viewers obviously benefit, and the games themselves oftentimes can benefit with streamers playing the games. You know, it elevates the popularity of a game if you can turn on a stream and watch other people streaming it. So game developers and whatnot typically want people streaming their games, as evidenced by the fact that streamers are often paid money to stream games, right? Game devs will reach out to streamers to have them play games. And you could argue that games like PUBG and whatnot have grown so much in popularity because of large streamers like Shroud and Grimms and Dr. Disrespect and all these people as well, right? Um, you could argue as a fourth party, you could say Twitch benefits as well, but obviously they're not really relevant here. Um, so yeah, so we have our like three or four like major, major winners in, 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 these, in this kind of transaction. So... Now, you can argue, I, I guess, that there are some cons of streaming, I guess. Like, streamers can um, harass people, I guess, or cheat in games or whatever. But I feel like all of the cons of streaming would be cons of gaming in general that have all existed. Like, I don't know if streaming has necessarily brought, like, new negatives to gaming that didn't exist before. Um, if somebody in chat can think of some that I can't think of, feel free to tell me. I've been gaming for a long time, probably almost 20 years now of online gaming and I can't think of any if somebody in chat can think of some like negatives that streaming has brought to to games that that things that aren't like things that aren't already happening or weren't already like against the rule or the rules or whatever Swifty taking down servers and events yeah I guess I'm like Target harassment using a platform. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, there are things like that. But again, like, people were already doing this online. Harassment was already a problem online. People did it. I guess streaming can make it more visible. Or streaming could amplify your ability to harass somebody as well. You could argue that, sure. But for, for the most part, I think that most people that aren't, uh, like, have these crazy hate boners for streamers, I think that most people can agree that, for the most part, streaming has been an overall positive thing. It's grown in an industry that's benefited the streamers, the viewers, and oftentimes the games itself, and obviously the platform of Twitch, right? So streaming in general has been, in, or in esports and other things as well, streaming has in general been a, a pretty positive thing, right? So, 
What is stream sniping? Right? Stream sniping, oftentimes somebody is watching a stream and either abusing a lobby system or, or some other type of system to insert themselves into a situation in an inorganic way. Right? You are trying to use another person's stream to gain leverage on them, to gain information on what they're doing precisely that you wouldn't otherwise know in game. Um, or oftentimes just to be in the same game as them to harass them or because you just want to play with them or whatever. Um, this is stream sniping, right? Oftentimes it involves cheating. I know that some people here will get huge boners for differentiating stream sniping and stream ghosting. I've had more experience with snipers than any person in this video that's going to bring up the differences between these terms. Fuck off. 99% of people that stream snipe also ghost too. There's not really much point in differentiating these terms, but sure. Some people will say sniping is just queuing up at the same time um, while watching a stream. Other people will say that ghosting is watching it while sniping. In my personal experience, most people that snipe also ghost, although a lot of them won't admit it, but whatever. Um, in terms of stream sniping, right? Who, who, who does stream sniping benefit, right? We'll look at pros and cons of stream sniping in terms of like who it benefits. It really only benefits the griefer, right? The person stream sniping is often doing it for some type of um, per personal satisfaction, what any griefer does, right? And I guess if the griefer has friends or... <laughs> I didn't mean to click. <laughs> I was dropping you items, but... Okay. <laughs> you were trying to cuck me, Mr. Mooten. You derailed my train of thought. You were standing in front of the door, trying to fucking cuck me. Do you have a first aid kit? Yeah, I dropped. I dropped you one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the item, by the way. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, Doctor Disrespect. I'm gonna get kicked for team killing. <laughs> um. Anyway, so you saw that griefing there benefited me. I thought he was trolling me. I'm sorry. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, so stream sniping oftentimes can hurt multiple parties, right? It hurts the streamer, obviously, whose gameplay experience is compromised. It hurts the oftentimes the viewers if the sniping gets a, uh, you know if the sniping gets crazy enough, it will inevitably impact the streamer mood, which will hurt the stream. Sometimes it can ruin the stream if they're cheating or you know ghosting hardcore. Um, and then, I guess, ultimately, you could argue it would hurt game devs if you stopped streaming a game because of sniping. Although, to be fair, I don't think it's ever been that extreme before. I don't know if anything has gotten to that level yet. It, it, it might have in some circumstances, but I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, so stream sniping really typically only benefits the streamer, I guess, or, or only benefits the griefer. I guess you can argue that some people think it's entertaining to watch people get griefed, which I guess is true to some extent, but nobody ever really uses that as an excuse for any other type of griefing. You'll never, ever, ever, ever hear that um, as, as an excuse for any other type of griefing. Like, if somebody walks around and harasses somebody all day long, and, you know, somebody's like, well, it can be kind of funny sometimes, like, nobody would really use that. Nobody would really use that as an excuse, right? Um... Yeah, things like, oh, yeah, you could argue games like Daisy. I don't stream anymore because stream sniping totally ruined the experience of that game, sure. But, um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to lay the groundwork. So, in my opinion, this is you have streamers and you've got stream snipers and you've got viewers. It, all of us, like, right off the bat, it kind of becomes pretty hard to, to defend stream sniping. Like, it's really just people griefing, right? Um, I, th this seems pretty difficult to defend when you look at it at, at that point of view. Now, a lot of people try to move the argument into other areas where it's like, well, streamers get paid money anyway, so they should deal with it. Or other, like, really weird arguments like that, which I don't understand th that argument at all. Um, like, just because streamers get paid means they should have to deal with something. Like, do, do you think that, like, maybe, I don't know, like, if you steal somebody's wallet, if they make, like, over 200 grand a year, does that mean that that person, you know, shouldn't be in trouble because that other guy makes a lot of money anyway? Like, I don't, that's just, like, a really bizarro argument that I've never heard of, um... I've never heard that use, like, to justify any other type of treatment. Like, well, that guy, um... You know, that guy gets, um... You know, that guy gets you know, paid a lot of money, so who cares? Like, I don't know, it just seems like a really weird thing to me. But, um, yeah, so that that's, um... <clears throat> Yeah, so that's kind of like the that's that's the, that's how I would lay this out to start with, right? Is understanding these two types of people. Um, I guess I kind of wanted to go through Richard Lewis's things, and then I think that covers most of the arguments that I hear against stream sniping. And Richard Lewis pretty pretty succinctly puts most of the arguments in favor of defending stream snipers. Um, to be fair, I don't think that um, my argument that stream snipers are shitty people or whatever, um, and and there's no reason to allow it. Uh, it isn't an argument to ban it. Um, I, I think you have to go a step further in terms of making arguments to ban it, and I think, and I'll try to do that, I guess, for this video. Um, yeah, so, whew, what do we want to start with? Richard Lewis's video. 
Um, I'll, I'll start over. We can start with the title. I'm not going to try to be really harsher to Mr. Uh, to Mr. Lewis. Um, if you know anything about us in the past, apparently we have a really big beef right now. So if it comes off as me being very pedantic, I'm not trying to do that intentionally. I don't hate Richard. I think he's a funny dude. Um, even though he's got a massive fucking hard on for me at the moment, I think he's an okay guy. Um, but yeah, we'll start off. Right off the bat, his the, the, the title of his video is really stupid. He tries to make a claim that people are treating streamers as a protected class. Now, I don't know if he's trying to bring like some politics memes into this, but if you look at what protected classes are in the United States, um, maybe they're different in Europe, but these are often things like race, nationality, um, you know, country of origin, ethnicity, um, family status. Th these aren't usually things that are very quick and easy to change. Um, the idea that people are trying to quote-unquote treat streamers differently um, is a little weird to me. I mean, anybody can become a streamer. It's not like streamers are special classes of people. Like, anybody can turn a stream on. Anybody can turn their stream off. Um, I don't know. Calling streamers, like, protected classes of people seem kind of strange to, to me. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought that I, I can understand where, where he's trying to go with that, like making that language like really charged right off the bat. But yeah, I mean, any, anybody can become a streamer, and and when people try to claim that like people are making special rules for streamers, I mean, you, you have special rules for special circumstances, but it's not like there's special groups of people. For instance, like in solo play, there's no team killing rules, right? Because you're playing solo. So like if you were playing duos and they made a rule against team killing. Nobody would say, like, well, that's not fair. You're making special rules just for duo players. Well, sure. I mean, anybody can queue duo if they want, though. I mean, of course, like, you, you, team killing is only going to be illegal for duo people, just like for streamers, right? You're not going to say that stream sniping is against the rules for somebody that's not streaming, right? It doesn't, I don't know. That argument just seems really silly to me. Um, the, 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 the argument that there are, like, special rules for streamers. I don't know. It, when people say that, you make it sound like there are, like, special people that are chosen by the devs to be protected, when in reality, it seems anybody could turn on a stream and um, anybody can turn on a stream and be a streamer. But streaming isn't inherently in the game. Well, I don't know. Well, we haven't gotten to that argument yet. Um, I understand what you're saying, but that was an odd example. Well, what do you mean by an odd example? Like, I, I don't know. Like, people, like, one argument that I hear a lot, and I heard it a lot in Richard Lewis's video, is that the devs are trying to treat streamers like special people. But, I mean, not really. I don't think so. It's just a blanket rule that impacts everybody the same. Like, for instance, if a streamer was stream sniping, the streamer would probably still get in trouble for it, right? It's not like it's just a rule against stream sniping. It's not treating streamers like a protected class or protecting streamers or whatever. It's just a rule against stream sniping. Much the same way that a rule against team killing is just a rule protecting people against team killing. It's not like protecting the gameplay experience, especially of people that play, you know, duos or squad or whatever, you know? Is it streamers or popular streamers? Well, I imagine if anybody got ghosted, they could make file a complaint. Obviously, we only hear about the popular streamers because they're probably the ones that tend to get stream sniped the most. But, um, I mean, I imagine any streamer could file a complaint about stream sniping. If there is evidence of a streamer filing a complaint and not getting noticed, feel free to bring it up. But I've never heard that. Do you really believe that every streamer will be protected equally? Only the most popular streamers will. Really? Do you have any evidence of that? I noticed that this is a thing as well. People throw around a lot of claims with absolute bullshit evidence behind them. Richard did this a lot in his video. A lot of people bring up the whole, like, well, what if a streamer says that somebody's ghosting and then he gets banned, like, just on that streamer's word? A lot of people make this argument. But I've never seen this happen before in any game. Well, I don't want to say in any game, but it hasn't happened in PUBG, to my knowledge. Nobody's ever linked to this happening. The only people I've ever seen get banned for ghosting... I'm probably going to camp here for a little bit. Um, are people that, like, PUBG went through the logs and they, like, confirmed that, like, okay, this person is requeuing lobbies to get into games with streamers and then kill them. You know? Like, I haven't seen all these people getting banned on word of mouth. That doesn't seem to be happening to me. Right? Um, so I just want to go down, like, I guess I just want to go down, like, a list of Richard Lewis quotes. The first thing he says is, I don't think developers should be getting involved in stream sniping. So the reason why the devs themselves have to get involved is because they're really the only people that can stop it, right? Twitch probably won't enforce it as part of their terms of service. And as a streamer, you can't really do anything to stop people from doing it, aside from, you know, altering the way that you stream, um, which we'll address later, which is another argument that's brought up a lot. So, I mean, the devs making it against the rules are really the only way that you could get people to not do it, right? Realistically, that's the only real way without severely modifying the stream experience, that's the only real way that, that you can do it. So, I mean, if you're going to make stream sniping against the rules, it has to come from the devs, right? It can't really come from anybody else. Um, 
He brought up the Dr. Disrespect stuff again. I don't really want to go into that. That's a really stupid stuff. The reason why um, the reason why people got mad at Dr. Disrespect for the roundhouse kick to the face is because even though Dr. Disrespect is playing a character, and maybe some people are intelligent enough to recognize that, not everybody is intelligent enough to recognize that. So when Dr. Disrespect does things like kills people in-game and then starts shit-talking the devs on Twitter for getting temp banned for it, there's a lot of little fucking Dr. Disrespect minions that are going to run around like fucking retards doing the same shit. They're going to be killing people in-game, laughing about it, acting like Dr. Disrespect, blah, blah, blah because the average stream viewer is 14 years old and will do this kind of fucking retarded shit. This has happened in every single game time and time again. How many fucking League of Legends players had to deal with fucking, you know, non-stop feeding, solo farming, Udyrs in their games because they all wanted to be like fucking Trick2G, like the 1 in 10 fucking Udyrs acting like their favorite streamer. Or, you know, like people do this shit all the fucking time. Um, that's why people were, were upset with dis Dr. Disrespect's behavior. Although it's not necessarily related to this. I'm sorry, I just brought that up because I noticed you mentioned it in the video. Um, and it's strange that Richard Lewis... Richard Lewis acts really surprised about this when there was a when later on in the video Richard Lewis says streamers need to set a good example by not calling out others for stream sniping. Well, okay, but I thought you just said that. I thought he just said that. Um, that that people don't copy what streamers do. I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> this is more about streamers being a protected class. Oh, he got really mad that. One team kill in squads in Battleground is enough to trigger a ban. I wouldn't ban anybody for doing it one time. I mean, I th if anything, when you stream, I think that devs are going to be more strict on, on streamers for rules, right? Because if a streamer is breaking a rule, you want to set an example. Otherwise, everybody's going to do it and then cite the streamer when they don't get banned. That's probably why, like, Wreckful and shit get banned for boosting accounts and whatnot, you know? Um... One argument that I heard put up a lot against the stream sniping shit is the um, the argument that you're never going to know 100% if somebody does something wrong, so you should never ban for it. This is a bullshit argument. And Richard Lewis has been involved with hunting people that use view bots on Twitch enough to know it, right? You're never going to 100% know that somebody is view botting on Twitch. It could always be somebody else view botting them. But there are degrees of likelihood that, that you could speak in, right? If somebody's been view botting every single day to boost their view count and they're getting on teams and shit because of it, it's probably not somebody else view botting their stream. That's pretty fucking stupid. You know, like, is this really happening? Same thing with, like, if somebody is queuing to get into a lobby over and over and over and over and over again, and, and then they wind up in the same game as a streamer, and then they happen to be in the same spots and kill them, this person is probably not doing it by chance and getting unfairly banned. Like, if this happens, feel free to point it out, but I've never heard of this happening before. Again, this is like the, um, this is the unicorn, this is like the unicorn examples that keep being brought up that have just never happened. And, and I noticed that this gets pointed out, like, well, what if somebody just re lobbies a ton and they happen to get into a game with a streamer? Am I going to get banned now? Like, if this happens, we can talk about it, but I have never heard of this happening before, ever. If it does, feel free to bring it up, but I've never, ever, ever heard of this happening, ever. And, and again, if it does, feel free, feel, free, feel, nah, feel free to bring it up, okay? Um, Richard Lewis goes on to bring up a bunch of valid reasons for stream sniping. Some of them were, maybe you want to build up your own stream. I don't know how that's a valid reason to stream snipe. Um, another is, what if you just want to play with a person? That's a really strange, re like, these aren't valid arguments for stream sniping. You're explaining why people might do it, but that doesn't make it good or morally righteous, right? What if I really want to eat dinner with Brad Pitt? It doesn't mean I'm going to try to snipe restaurants that he goes to so that I can sit next to him and make conversation. Like, that's really fucking weird. That's really weird and really cre creepy, and I don't understand how that's, like, a defensible argument. Like, I'm a really big fan of Shia LaBeouf and I know that he goes to eat at this restaurant on Friday night so I'm going to go there and I'm going to sit next to him and I'm going to try to strike up a conversation like that's very presumptuous maybe it sounds a little bit arrogant of me as a streamer to say that but if every single fan acted like that you'd get a ton of people constantly stalking you in games right that like I don't know that just seems like really 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 dumb that, that, that you would make this argument like well he just wants to hang out with that dude so it should be okay you know um oof I'm going to hang out in this house okay Mr. Cruton? Yeah. Okay. I've never heard of these things happening. Where is your proof? Wait, that stream sniping happens? I consider myself... I think I get to call myself, like, a subject matter expert, so I can actually cite myself as proof. Can I do that? I've been streaming for seven years. Like, <laughs> I have a pretty primary good handle. Primary source. I, yeah, I'm a literal primary source, okay? Um, there's no valid reason to stream snipe, but what about players? You really want to play... Blah, blah, blah. Um... This is dumb. I put so many quotes from him here, but they're so dumb. I don't even really want to go over them. So, 
One thing that gets brought up a lot, fuck, I should have organized this better instead of just going by Richard Lewis code, I'm sorry. One thing that gets brought up a lot is like delaying the stream. So Richard Lewis talks about this. A stream delay fucking sucks. It's not the same experience as watching something live. How many of you watched the McConnor, uh, uh, or the McGregor Mayweather fight, you know, like on a five minute delay? It's just not the same experience. Um, and like, even if you could cut yourself off from the rest of the world and wait until it was done, like, I don't know, it's just not the same experience. Like watching things live, being able to interact with a streamer live and, and having things happen in real time or with a 10 second delay or whatever is a lot different than putting a two or three minute delay on your stream. I don't know. I, I, I only hear non streamers suggest this. I've never heard this coming from another streamer. Do you think there might be a reason why? Like I've never in my life, um, I've never in my life heard of anybody, um, there's a guy up here at 120. Oh. oh shit. Two just went down. Oh shit. Knocked out. Oh shit. Um, to the right, to the right at 195. I've never in my life heard a non-streamer put forth these arguments ever. Oof. What if he comes up from behind? Telling a streamer to use a delay to avoid sniping is like telling a comedian to only put out DVDs to avoid hecklers. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, he probably went to pick up his friend in that smoke. I'm yeah, gonna heal, okay? I don't okay? have a rifle. You don't have a rifle? No. He did go pick up his friend, I'm gonna try and throw it in. Can you really not throw it out this fucking window? Right. You didn't throw it at me, did you? No. He picked his friend up. I, wait, did they just- oh, Take your time. Me. No, I opened it. Alright. I'm moving. I'm moving left. They're behind the tree. Yeah. Down. Nice. Killed okay. his friend. Good. Did you kill the other? Yep. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, they're no, both you dead didn't. here. He's oh. behind the rock. That's another no. guy. That's another guy. Oh, oh there's another guy. <laughs> I'm crawling over. I'm picking you up. I don't know if we're gonna make it, my dude. Um. Yeah, but anybody that streamed a game or watched streams knows that putting on a delay is not like a... That's not like a good ombre, dude. I don't know why people think that that's like an acceptable... Fuck. I'm healing. Do you have an extra med kit? Yeah, I do. First aid. Yeah. Oh, first I'm aid, dropping okay. it right now. I'm down. Hold on. I think I have to kill this guy. Yeah. Um, taking huge ticks. But yeah. Are you burning? Am I burning? He threw a molly. No. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay. You got him. <laughs> Are you okay, bud? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm good. The fire, it rises. It rises. It rises. <laughs> okay, buddy. Right, I'm popping up. You see how that guy was shooting at me like that just because he knew I was a streamer? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have jacked all these. Um, I'm moving up to this rock. Okay. It is okay. <sighs> um, yeah. Richard Lewis goes on to make like some really snarky remarks about how like well the only reason people really don't want streams uh, want to put a delay is because it means they'll make less money. This is a really 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 bad argument, especially I need five, five, six. okay. I'm dropping some, especially put forth by somebody that makes a living doing like video game related content, which is where Richard Lewis owes all of his livelihood to. Um, the idea that you would like, and, and of course somebody's going to make more money if they have a better stream. Like anything that makes your stream better is probably going to result in you making more money. So the argument that like you don't want to put a delay just because you'll make less money. Well, sure, but you don't make less money by extension of having a worse stream. So the fact that Richard Lewis admits that he would make less money, that anybody would make less money, is kind of like an, an admission that the stream gets worse as well, you know? Um, they're behind us somehow. Northwest? Oh, no, no, never mind. Uh, I hit him like three times. How could they even be back there? I don't know. Okay, that was retarded. Okay, so like this is so this is something, and I'll, I'll speak out to this, okay? Because this is bullshit, okay? Um, 
Can't you think of stream snipers as dealing with shitty customers in a service job? They are assholes and people shouldn't act that way, but it is unfortunately a part of the job. But that's the thing. It doesn't ha- I don't understand this acceptance that like, well, some people are just going to try to harass you. Like, that's just what you have to deal with. Like, fuck you, you streamer. Fuck, just deal with it, dude. Okay, well, we do. We have for our entire lives, or at least for the seven years I've been streaming, you just deal with it. Nobody fucking helps you with it. But if a game dev says that they want to ban people for doing it, it just feels... It's like... <clears throat> This is the problem that I have, okay? I'm really glad you used that as an example. Let's say that you work at a restaurant, and every single fucking day, there's a guy that comes in and pitches your ass every time he comes in, okay? Let's say that you work at a really upscale restaurant, though, and you make a lot of money doing it, okay? You make 150 a year. You work at a nice steakhouse. Guy comes in every week and pitches your ass, okay? Ah, oh, you know? And you complain to friends. You're like, dude, like, this sucks. Like, this guy, like, every week, he comes in and fucking harasses me. Like, I fucking hate it. It's so irritating, you know? And then somebody's like, um... Somebody's like, well, yeah, I mean, it sucks, but it's part of the job. You know, what are you going to do? And then all of a sudden, the company makes a policy, right? The company makes a policy, and they say, hey, by the way, if you harass our employees, um, or if you harass, if you come in and you harass somebody like that, you know, we're, we're going to kick you out. All right? And then everybody all of a sudden is like, wait, what? That's not fair. Why are you banning that guy just for harassing people? That's bullshit. What? This isn't a fair thing. Like, what the fuck? Like, why the fuck are you, on the, are you defending this guy? Like, do you really hate the, 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 I guess in this case it'd be the waitress or the streamer so much? You hate him so much that you're going to defend people whose, like, only goal in game is to, like, mess with other people? It's like to defend a griefer? Like, that seems, I don't know, dude. That seems, like, really weird. This analogy is shit. Okay, let me hear your arguments, okay? Let me hear your arguments, because I can take them all apart. This is a really e It's not even, like, a hard argument to win from my point of view, because you're just wrong. But you can throw them at me. I usually don't engage in this argument again. I don't like to, because most people are viewers. Very little people know what it's like streaming. But, like, it's not a hard argument to win. Like, you realize that you're literally just trying to defend people that grief. Like, that's all they do. You're, tr you're literally trying to defend griefers. <laughs> I already jumped, by the way, you fucking shitter. Um, the streamer doesn't work for the company. Sure, but it doesn't, that's not really relevant in the example. I'm just saying that, like, you have a group of people who all they do, stream snipers, is just harass streamers. That's all they do. They're just there to harass streamers. That's all they do. Like, wh why would you defend that? Wh what is defensible there? Like, what's so important there? Like, that's just very, very strange to me. That, like, people would, that people would be so keen to defend these people that only exist to grief others. It's like the whole point of what they do when they queue up into a game. Roses are red, violets are blue, Omiwamo, Shinderu. Find me a restaurant that I can make 150k a year at. If you're a server in a very upscale restaurant, um, you can make a fuck ton of money. I know that people that worked in the casino steakhouse made six figures, um, and I'm sure there are better, like, high, like these are like $100 a plate places that you can make, but obviously these are like, you know, most, you're not going to make that money working at, um, you know, like Applebee's or something. How do you come to empirical evidence of stream sniping and trying to be pedantic, but you could find empirical evidence to guy pinch your ass, but come Okay, so here is another problem, okay? And I will speak as a primary source expert on this, okay? So you can either take my word for it, or you can just say that I'm lying and stick your fingers here, okay? The argument that, oh, that guy got, that guy, it was just an accident. He wasn't really sniping. That's some fucking bullshit. It's usually pretty obvious to tell when people are stream sniping. If a guy is requeuing to get into your lobby over and over again, he gets into your lobby, and then he happens to show up next to you in-game, and he kills you, and he does this multiple times if this guy is not stream sniping like then you're literally in like a one like you've you got a better chance of shuffling a deck of cards and, and getting the same thing like twice in a row than you do of like running into you, like th these scenarios these edge cases actually happening and i see this put forth as like a, like some people try to put this as an argument sometimes too we're like well maybe he just you know maybe this guy just happened to wind up in your game over and over again and just happened to find you in game and then just happened to be camping the room waiting for you to come out and then just happened to kill you like maybe it was all like like this does if it happens look this guy right here is stream sniping i'm just kidding wait that wasn't fuck shot this guy like 20 times um yeah, I don't know. Like these, these, these are like also very strange arguments. Like these really weird like edge cases where people are like, um, where people are like, well, maybe what if this guy gets banned on accident? Like, if it does happen on accident where somebody gets banned, like yeah, that's bad. Like un obviously overturn the ban, you know. Um, <clears throat> Gary's opinion on stream sniping. I've read Gary's opinion on stream sniping. It's retarded. I've already read his opinion on it. It's really dumb too. Um, but I mean, he's a dev. He's got a right to do what he wants. My opinion is that while it's generally frowned upon by us, it's the streamer's decision to broadcast their live gameplay feed to everyone on the internet. So it's something they need to expect and deal with, right? So like, I mean, I guess you can make this argument that because you stream, like, that's just really weird to me. Like that argument just sounds so strange. Like at least like, like put that in a full sentence. Like somebody chooses to stream their gameplay for the benefit of multiple parties, right? So they should expect to get harassed by other people. 
like, would anybody really defend that statement? For some reason, like, people seem to make it, I don't know, like, I, like when you put this statement in full context, it just seems really indefensible to me. Like, well, some people choose to stream their gameplay because, one, they make money off of it, because, two, the game generally likes it, because, three, viewers generally enjoy it, and because, four, you know, Twitch benefits from it. Since streamers do that, they should expect to get harassed in games in unique ways. Like, that's just a really strange, really? Like... I, now, you can make the argument that, like, hey, I'm a dev. Now, if your argument was, I'm a dev, and I don't really want to fuck with it. I don't care to, to enforce this. I'm not going to go through the time or whatever to do it. If streamers want to stream, fuck them. That's a totally fine argument, sure. I, not, not only is that a fine argument, that's a legitimate argument. If you don't want to fucking deal with enforcing, you know, rules that impact a very, very, very specific group of, of players, I can understand that, sure. Um, but don't try to make it, don't try to put some weird quasi-moral argument out for it. Like, well, if you're streaming, you should just expect to get harassed. Like, that's just part of the job. Like, that's just so bizarre to me like if i own a car i should be open to the possibility that somebody's going to key the car just because i choose to own one or if i own a really nice stereo i should just accept that maybe somebody's going to break into my car and steal it like i get to drive around all day listening to my music at loud volumes well i should just accept that somebody's going to break into my car and steal it like that's just a really bizarre um so somebody in chat said stream sniping isn't harassment stop trying to compare them stream sniping is absolutely harassment stream sniping is when you're a streamer, unfortunately, and again, like I understand that a lot of you might not realize this because one, you haven't been playing games even as long as I have, and, and two, your gameplay experience hasn't been irrevocably changed, but streaming and getting stream sniped constantly completely changes the experience of playing the game. It is harassment. Like, it, it absolutely is. I don't know how you could possibly, if you, would, if you could imagine any anything that you found fun let's say that you liked playing basketball and every single time you went to the park you played with groups of people some you recognize some you don't you play dinner you fought you have fun blah 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 you play half court you know back and forth wow so much fun let's say that some guy started showing up and every time you were there he follows you on the basketball he's like what's up fucking faggot get out of here kid you fucking suck every time you miss dude like you suck <laughs> you're so bad and, and he started to like snipe your schedule like he knows that that guy gets off work at four o'clock every day and goes down to the court i'm gonna show up every single day and call him a faggot every time you miss a shot like that's harassment how could you not say that it's how could you not say that that's not harassment like what do you consider harassment like what i mean like it absolutely is you know um what steps could streamers do to prevent sniping is it that hard to prevent yes it's almost impossible to prevent depending on the level you're at on how on how large of a streamer you are if somebody wants to find you in a game and even it's funny because even the people that say like put a delay or whatever like there are so many player trackers for different games have you ever played any arma games there's a million different player searchers it's, it was on rust there are different player trackers where you can find what servers people are on like i went to i went to like extreme let me give you an example when i played rust okay i wanted to not be stream sniped on rust because i didn't want to play with large groups a lot of people know me from rust as somebody that played in a huge group of people and i did but i didn't want to originally i only wanted to play with five ten people max right the most fun that i had in that game was playing with groups of two three four five people um but even if i i made a new steam account the steam account name was a barcode i never showed the name on stream before and i went off to servers to have fun and play on a stream delay people were still able to snipe me within 20 or 30 minutes because what they would do is they would watch the day night cycles they would figure out the stream delay based on messages and chat and then they would um and then they would go around to different servers looking at all the monuments of the, with the same day night cycle until they found me like if people really want to find you in games they're always going to find you there's not much you can do unless the dev has a rule in place to make it so that it's not allowed to stream so that somebody could actually get banned for it you know um i don't really know where i'm running right now we'll go here to the barns okay How was you choosing to stream different from me choosing to broadcast my position over my mic in game? Can I cry Thank snipe and get banned? Thank you for taking the time to argue with 12-year-olds. No one else would make these arguments defending stream snipers. Which is why Richard is catering to his audience, I'd hope. So, um... How is it choosing to stream different from me choosing to broadcast my position over my mic in game? This sounds like another Richard Lewis argument. This is a really autistic argument. Are you really serious? What's the difference between me typing in a game chat where everybody in the game can readily see what's being typed in chat, my position over and over and over again, versus, st versus streaming to an external third-party site that somebody would have to go out of their way to find? I don't understand. How, are, you, are you sincerely asking me that question? I don't think you are. I think you're parroting it because I've seen the same autistic question typed in, in like Reddit before. But like... There can't be people that legitimately think it's the same thing. When you ask me what's the difference between making something readily available in a game chat that you're always going to see versus streaming to a third-party site that somebody would have to go out of their way to find, 
I, 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 I can't tell. Do you legitimately want you to give you the difference? Like, what do you mean? They're totally different things. I've only got a shotgun, by the way. You are selecting the weakest arguments. Address the actual ban that was implemented. The person... Wait, why did this guy get banned? Oh, he was copy he was spamming his message. Address the actual ban that was implemented. The person banned denies sniping. The in-game clip shows that the person banned wasn't the one mentioned prior. The devs won't discuss or disclose the logs. Oh, if there is a case, if there was a case where it happened and it's fucked up, I totally think that it should be overruled. But just because something fucks up one time doesn't mean that you toss the whole thing out. I'm sure that there's probably been somebody that got vac banned for something that probably shouldn't have been back vac banned for. Some type of extension or attachment or something that fucked with the memory of your computer in some way that wasn't actually cheating in a game that ended up getting vacuumed for. I'm sure that this has happened at least one time in human history, right? But this doesn't mean that you um this doesn't mean that you throw out the entire Valve anti-cheat system because it fucked up, you know? Like As the author yeah, of the you talked about how it's like not even What was that again? I was gonna say have you talked about how it's not even just like when you're on stream, it's even when you're off stream that people will um go to their way to like troll and shit just because they know like who you are? Yeah, but I don't think people care about that. But yeah, that happens too, but I mean I don't know if the devs can do much about that. But So clearly you understand that it's almost impossible to prevent. Why is deal with it not an acceptable thing to say? Deal with it is an acceptable thing to say. That's what we've had to deal with the whole time. We always have to deal with it, no matter what we do, dev or no dev. It's just very insulting to me that when a dev actually steps in and says, hey, you know what, we'll ban people for ghosting, that for some reason a bunch of people rise up to defend literal subhuman fucking pieces of shit who only go into games to grief others. That's just a very bizarre statement to me. Like, I wish I could find people that make this argument and grief the fuck out of them for like two months and see if they have the same opinion afterwards now multiply that by seven years right and that's my experience online gaming you know like i just it's very strange to me people are like well so what if this guy wants to queue into your game over and over again to try to kill you and the only reason he's in the game is to kill you and he even plays in suboptimal ways so that he could kill you like that's just part of being a streamer. like okay dude like that's you picked a very strange person there i guess as your martyr to defend like i don't know that's very strange to me but Wouldn't care if it was part of my job? Bullshit. You would care. And I know you would care because I know that I have thicker skin than you. I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking tee it, okay? You're looking at a man whose dick was leaked on the fucking internet who was streaming the next fucking day, okay? I've got the thickest skin of any motherfucker here, I promise. And it still bothers me, okay? And, and, I, and that's not even going into the average person, how irritating it is for the average person to deal with it, okay? Don't tell me there is no fucking job. That you're like this, that's like the most dumb fucking comment I've ever read in my life. I like I could I can know so much about you because you say that, right? Like, oh, I could deal with harassment every single day, and it wouldn't bother me at all. I know that you're male, I know that you're probably fucking white, I know you're probably like 18 to like 22, maybe 16 to like 22. I can make so many assumptions about you because you would say something as fucking stupid as, well, I could get harassed every single day in part of my life, and it wouldn't bother me at all. Why would you ever make a comment that fucking stupid? How could you ever say something so fucking retarded like that? Bull fucking shit. Unless you literally you not even, no, no fucking way could you ever make that statement. They're like, yeah, I could get harassed every single day and it wouldn't bother me. Fuck off, dude. No fucking way. No fucking way. And if you can, if you are part of the point zero 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 one percent that could handle that, good for you. Not everybody is like that. Very, 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 very few people, a handful of people on the planet could deal with shit like that and not have it negatively impact them after a while, okay? I'm gonna hide in here till the next fight, okay? Sick, boy. Good. Wait, oh, that's you. Fuck you. Cringe is back. What do you think of Grim's method of covering the stream, muting his gaming PC's audio until the game begins? You can do that. I it do just... the same thing he does, but I'd only have a fraction of his viewership. 
you can you can do it, but it sucks. It's an, not only does it suck and it's annoying, but once you reach a certain level, it doesn't help anyway. Like I did this when I played StarCraft. I did this when I played League. It didn't stop it from happening. You know, when dozens of people are trying to Q snipe you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen no matter what you do to try and prevent it, right? Unless you go like maybe if you like hid your Q and you didn't Q for like thirty minutes, maybe it would work. But like. You would have to start taking, like, extraordinary precautions in order to keep it happening. For most streamers, you just kind of learn to deal with it. It just becomes an unfortunate part of your reality that makes you miserable and impacts your stream and your viewers as well, right? Now, again, as streamers, dealing with it is all we have done forever. It's just so bizarre to me that when a dev stands up and is like, Hey, yo, stream, you know, ghosting? Nah, we're not going to let that stand. That people would go fucking crazy about it. Like, you dropped your gun? Did I ever have a gun? Where did I drop my gun hat? Imagine you set up a talk or presentation at a university or something, then you tweet out, or having the venue advertised for the event. It's something public that you didn't need to make public. Now imagine that someone calls in a bomb threat or comes to the event and threatens to kill you. Sure, you could cancel the event and just deal with it, but how is that person making a threat and ruining the event worthy of defense? I don't know if I would compare it necessarily to bomb threats, but yeah, sure. Oh god, Eve. Eve wasn't streamable at all, but... It's in the bathroom. Why did I drop my rifle? Seems kind of weird. Did I have no scopes or anything for this? That sucks. <laughs> okay. There was a clan of 20 plus people who worked together to snipe Crip. Yeah, that shit is disgusting, dude. Why do you ignore how most streamers, every time they die in a game, they always blame stream snipers and start witch hunts with no proof? Okay, if this happens, then it shouldn't happen, obviously. But again, like... A girl goes to you and says, like, yo, dude, I got fucking raped. This sucks shit. What should I do? Like, okay, what about that one time, though, that a girl claimed that she got raped and she didn't, you stupid fucking slut? The fuck is wrong with you, you dumb bitch? Don't you know that sometimes people complain and they didn't actually get raped? Like, okay. I mean, do you expect me to... Do you think that I'm trying to defend streamers that make false accusations? I'm not. That's not what we're talking about right now, right? We're talking about the morality of whether or not a dev should be able to make it illegal... For, for people to be ghosting, right? For that to be in the part of the TOS, for that to be against the rules, right? The idea that, like, okay, but Destiny, what about that streamer that abused it one time, though? Okay, what about that streamer that cries every time? Okay, well, that's shitty. Obviously, obviously that guy, you know, you shouldn't be banning people that they cry. You know, and some streamers just do that. And I think Grimm's admitted as much. Like, sometimes you get mad. You're like, oh, I think that guy was ghosting. I probably dropped those accusations. Like, right? like I dude, I, I think that guy was ghosting, right? And maybe he wasn't, maybe he was, but it's not like I'm witch hunting anybody or pursuing it, you know? Like, very rarely. And if streamers do that, it's irresponsible. Like, I very rarely do I make the accusation that someone is ghosting, unless I know, like, that Robbo 133 guy or whatever. Or people that are literally, like, like, somebody, sometimes I get people that will come in and chat, and they be like, see you later, bitch. Ha <laughs> kappa, kappa, kappa. XD. And then I'm like, all right, this guy's ghosting. Someone's like, he's not ghosting. How do you approve for it? Like, okay, there has dude. actually been an instance of back banning someone and it being overturned due to. Oh, Summit might have said that. Sorry. Being from a third party. Happened to Handy playing CSGO. If you want to read some on that, yee. Sniping the same person over and over is a little autistic, but harassing people in games is a valid form of entertainment. Not today. Nope. In most games, if you harass people, generally there is a TOS against that. If you're using racial slurs against somebody in a game, or if you are targeting somebody in a game and harassing them repeatedly or, do, or doing stuff like that, usually in games you get banned for that these days. Now, if the game has a TOS where it's like, yo, yo, anything goes or whatever, you know, fucking do whatever, sure, I mean, that's fine. Like Eve, I guess you can, well, not even an Eve, I guess. Uh, but I mean, like, if there are games like that where you can grief or do whatever, sure, that's fine. But in most games, there are usually like anti-griefing rules and shit um or, or like anti-harassment rules can you comment on whether they should versus whether they have the right well obviously wow, they have the right we're talking about whether they should right can't you switch scenes while you're queuing? No, dude. When dozens of people are trying to queue snipe you, you can't just switch a scene. Some people will stagger when they queue for you to try to get you. Sometimes your queue will last a long time and they'll get you. Like, I've dealt with this for so long, dude. If people want to queue snipe you, they're going to queue snipe you. Like, you can't... Like, there's hot no way that you can stop it. Hot we need to move. You know what? You need to shut the fuck up. Are you stream sniping my conversation? Haha. -ha. 
Shut the fuck up. Do you think it should be a bannable offense? And if so, how do you justify it while streamers put themselves into that position by live streaming? Why is it? Can you explain this to me? Why is it that live streaming means that you deserve to get sniped and harassed in game, right? A girl can make herself more easily rapeable depending upon what she wears. It doesn't mean that she deserves to get raped. Like, I don't understand this. Like, it's more easy. Like, we can count the list. Like, what makes it easier to rape a woman? If she's out alone, that makes it easier. Um, if she's drinking, that makes it easier. Um, if she accepts a drink without checking it for roofies, like we can go down a huge queue list on like well, you know ways to make it easier to, to rape a woman like at what point is like okay now it's acceptable to do it like what is that argument I don't understand that argument like well the stream sniper streams okay is there anything wrong with streaming like when you when you when you make this argument like the stream sniper does X therefore Y will occur right you make it sound like X is an action that we have deemed to be morally dubious morally wrong right that that when a streamer streams he deserves to get Twitch harassed I don't understand the umpteenth time from what is assumed to be a DDoS attack thus denying many a Twitch user from enjoying their favorite streams Oh no, A, it's Twitch's fault for having their website be public. What about a 30 Old second or one minute plus them. delay? It wouldn't affect chat interaction, but it does. A one minute delay completely alters the nature of watching a stream. Ask anybody that watches streams. Like, we, I voted on this, I've done polls on this in the past. I've done it before, I've had stream delays, and it's horribly adversely. The chat doesn't line up with the fucking VOD at all. Nobody feels like they're interacting directly with the streamer. It's all happened in the past. If there's something wrong with the stream, it takes the streamer a minute or three or five to correct it, depending on how long the delay is. Like, delays suck. They, they really fucked with the stream. They're really bad. They are, they're a shitty fucking thing like Tee -hee. people like it's funny because people are like just put a two minute stream delay and it's not a big deal people freaked the fuck out when twitch went from having a 30 uh, or having like a one to three second delay to the 10 to 15 second delay it is now people argue that that irrevocably changes the stream experience, which it does. If you've ever streamed on Hitbox for a little bit, where the, where the delay is literally one to two seconds versus on Twitch, where it's like 10 to 15, that's a hugely different experience. That's a whole different experience. Yeah, and like, fuck, like, even, like, people are like, well, you broadcast your gameplay experience, that's part of your, dude, do you remember playing Mario Kart or Duke Nukem or fucking Goldeneye with your friend and he looks at your screen and cheats? Like, even that's not allowed. Even friends don't let people get away with that shit. Like, if you're playing fucking Goldeneye and the friend is, like, camping around the fucking corner waiting for you to come in and you know that he's camping because you're screen cheating too, right? <laughs> right? Like, people even get mad at that shit. People be like, dude, like, are you looking at my screen? Like, what the fuck, dude? That's cheating. People get mad at that shit. Like, what the fuck? And that's with the screen right in fucking front of you. Oh, it's not irrevocably. I think it's irrevocably. I'm sorry. I think I'm mispronouncing that word. I dropped you a hollow right there. I realize switching scenes and delaying queue won't stop snipers completely, but shouldn't you do it anyway just to cut down on this frequency? Um, not really, because you are you put up with some harassment for a better stream. That's just part of the trade-off that you make. Like, fuck it, I'll deal with this much harassment so that my stream isn't getting fucked by a delay. Stream sniping is a risk hazard of your career, but it's a risk hazard brought on by other people. Can you name another career where that's acceptable? What about being a cop? Okay, besides, unless you're dealing with literal fucking criminals, like... And we do things, we do whatever we can to, like, try to minimize, like, stream hazard shit. But there's no stream hazard where it's acceptable. Like, oh, like, if you're a construction worker, one hazard is just sometimes people will run you the fuck over. Like, what are you going to do, man? If you work on a construction site, some people will just fucking run you over. It's just life. Sorry, dog. No, bullshit. You put reduced speed limits in those areas, so even law-abiding citizens, you impact even law-abiding citizens. You have increased fines. Sometimes you've got minimum fines or jail time. If you strike a construction worker, those are going to be increased fines based on... Uh, rather than just striking like a normal person like what do you mean like when, when you say it's a hazard of your job like what are you trying to compare it to you just complain about the delay but that's really the only defense you have versus stream snipers what what yeah that is a defense you're asking me to make my stream worse because you want to defend griefers where is your defense what is your defense of people that only want to grief other people's gameplay how can you defend that person why would you defend that person like 
What the fuck? We have to move. Yeah, we do have to move, Mr. Cruton. How many kills do you have? Zero. Uh, zero. <laughs> Could just take it all as a toll for making six figures playing fucking video games. First of all, my job is hard because I've got to deal with people that are fucking retards, a.k.a. you, okay? Every single day of my life. Show me another job where you have to deal with so many fucking stupid fucking people. Well, you have to okay? give an example that or what? people are just gonna call you. you no i'm just example. kidding listen okay i get paid a lot of money to do my job i'm not gonna deny that and i've worked real jobs and i've worked shitty jobs okay so that i don't complain about streaming ever okay i don't complain it because i know that i'm lucky however to make the argument that streaming is easy right like what richard dumbfuck lewis did to make who literally makes a living talking about video games he doesn't even fucking play them right to make the argument like well streaming is easy so you should accept getting harassed that's bullshit nobody else deal what the fuck you're part of streaming. You don't get paid to stream by dealing with harassment. Even fucking strippers don't have to deal with that shit. I can go to a strip club, and if I harass a girl, I can go to a prostitute. And if I harass a prostitute, the fucking pimp will come and beat the shit out of me. So you're saying that prostitutes and strippers and sex workers, those people, are entitled to protections. But if I'm a video game streamer, I just have to deal with being harassed as part of my job? Fuck that. That's bullshit, dude. No, fuck you. Fuck you. What a bullshit-ass argument. Do you think it should be a bannable offense? I don't know if it should be a bannable offense. Maybe like a one-day temp ban, or maybe just like a strike on your account, like one warning and then a ban. I just think having it against the rules is nice. It's like a first line of protection. I don't know. It just feels nice. So that I know the same person can't snipe me over and over and over again and act like a fucking retard in game without any type of repercussion. Hey, do you have any extra 556? Yeah. Can I have some? I've only... Oh, yeah, thanks. About time. Let me know if you want to... Thanks. It just comes with the internet, bro. It's unfortunate. I understand. Okay. That's fine, dude. But, like... Do you see how fucking inconsistent you are? Like, go onto the internet, get harassed. Sorry, dude, we're all big boys on the internet. We're real men, okay? Getting harassed sometimes, that's just part of the deal, all right? You're just gonna have to learn to deal with that, okay, my dude? And then it's like, okay, fine. And then developer makes rule against stream something. What? This is impossible! This is ridiculous! Like, they can't do that! This is not fair! Like, why, why is the dev allowed to make rules for his own game? This is bullshit! Like, okay, I thought it was just part of the internet and we deal with it. Like, what, like, what's your, where's, like, be consistent, dog. Like, be consistent. <laughs> Fuck off. Because proof, that's what people are taking issue with, dude. Okay, and if there's shitty bans that go out, by the way, um, create to our left, but fuck it. By the way, every single ban system in the history of all the fucking ban kind has always had false positives. Even fucking VAC has had false positives. Blizzard's Warden has had false positives. Battle Eye from Arma has had false positives. Every single anti-cheat ever has had false positives. That's not a reason to get rid of the fucking rule. Like, fuck. Oh, Mr. Mooton, this is top three. If we get in here, this is a top three finish. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm on the way. <sighs> Testing, this seems like it's only a persistent problem for a tiny sliver of gamers. Is this really a big problem for gaming as a whole? Well, this is another argument. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, how many of you guys, why are people so riled up with this? How many of you guys are even getting banned for this kind of shit? Like, this is impacting so few people. Why are people so crazy against it? Like, this is, like, people are acting like everybody, like, 100 people, 100,000 people just got banned for stream sniping. And this is impacting, like, less than five people. Like, holy shit. You choose to put yourself at a tactical disadvantage. You're not. Just because I stream something in a game doesn't necessarily mean that I expect other people to watch. Like, that's like saying you put yourself at a tactical disadvantage by playing video games in a high-rise apartment because somebody else in your city could, like, take out binoculars and look into your apartment and, like, watch you fucking play games. Like, what? Like, um, you having fun there, buddy? He's knocked out. Oh, wow. Good job. 
Where is he? Oh, okay. You don't. They have to are know. northwest. He's dead. It's just one. Just hang out. Just hang out, homie. You know, no, don't peek him. It's three alive. Oh, three alive! I'm getting my shotgun out. I'm no, going. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. All right, I'm staying here. Okay, I'm not gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna get a little closer though, okay? Hold on, I'm going to, um... I'm gonna turn my volume up. I'm sorry, I gotta focus on this one now. And then I'll focus on chat. Right, can you come closer to the house or no? You're gonna stay there? I wanna... I didn't wanna move. What? He's gonna cut. He has to come up here though. Alright. We can both peek the same angle as he runs down. Or are we gonna let him run down? I'll let you call the shots, Mr. Moisture. What do you wanna do? No, I want you to- I always call him and I always fuck up, so go ahead. Tell me what you want me to do. Is that him up there to the left? I can't tell if that's a person or no, not. No, it's a bush. Okay. So he's already at this house then? Eesh. I don't know. I'm Can not... we keep peeking the same corner? Okay, I'm coming to you. Okay, I'm gonna go wide right, okay? Okay, I'm coming with you, I mean. Yeah, we are, because we work together like a team. Do you want to just go in the house and, and down the hill. camp it out? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm going up. I'm sure you are. I'm upstairs. I told you it was a top three situation, my dude. He could get in the other room. And the one downstairs? No, the other house. Oh. If we're not careful. Am I using reshader? Yeah, I am. If I go out into that roof to look, are you gonna get mad at me? No. Okay, I'm keep. I'm moving. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, I see him. He's Where? trying to approach the other house, southeast 150. Do you want to run over there or no? Oh, shit. Yep, go. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. He was outside on the ground. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm he went around the corner of the house. Let's go left and look to the right. Okay. <laughs> Fucking block my shot. You're garbage, kid. How many kills did you have? Zero? One. How many did you have? I had, I had two. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Like Good one. solid finish. Okay. Good solid finish. Streaming is like voluntarily showing your hand in a game of poker. Okay, that's another good example. Do you think that WSOP players are allowed to get stream sniped? Like, you're playing at the final table of the WSOP. Your your hand is broadcast. Everybody can see it. Do you think that it should be allowed that other people in the audience should be able to, like, scream out what your hand is? Yes or no? And if your answer there is no, what's the difference between that and ghosting? It isn't anonymous like the internet is. Do they run a delay? Oh, they might delay the WSOP broadcast, but what about for people in the audience or whatever? If you peek your hand and like somebody behind you in the audience sees it and they shout to somebody at like at a table or some shit, do you think that that should be allowed? People just think Grimms has snowflake syndrome because that's the way he comes across. Yeah, sure. Grimms, is, Grimms comes across as like an over entitled asshole, but people use that to like extrapolate what the ruling should be on like fucking everybody. What are your reshade settings? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't even know how to bring it up. How do I bring it up? Shift F2. Shift fuck you. There. Is this it? Oh, settings. There you go. I don't know what these are. Clara put this on my computer for me. Settings and move all the way down. Yeah. Can you explain the first step? What if you're in the same room as a friend and they look at your screen to snipe you? Can you explain that as wrong? Yeah, sure, because they're using a meta thing to get an advantage on you. It's shitty. Nobody would be friends with you if you did this. Nobody would like you. Maybe you guys don't have friends, so you don't understand it, right? Oh, sorry. I ignored a donation. Hold on. Somebody donated. Um, donating twice so it will appear. Paparazzi, man. It's part of the fame. Sure, they suck, but it's part of the gig you signed up for. Okay, but do you defend those people? Like, the difference is most people view paparazzis as scum, but most people view stream snipers as, like, heroes. Like, it's so bizarre, the, like, the shitting on the streamer. Again, this is why I don't usually take up these arguments, but they're like, the arguments are so fucking stupid that, like, it's really hard not to jump into it sometimes. Um, like, Jesus Christ. Um, what did this, what is this thread? 
A big thank you to all the stream snipers. Please keep up the good work. I just want to let you guys know, the individuals that snipe streamers live or raid them as soon as they see them on a server, um, you are doing a public service to Rust that is not appreciated enough. <laughs> like, Jesus fuck. You seeing one thread on the Rust subreddit doesn't mean everyone thinks they're heroes. This thread was upvoted to the top of the page, and all the top comments are people that are happy to see it. And everybody on the Player Unknown Battleground, um, everybody on the Player Unknown Battleground subreddit, fucking uh, defends them too. What do you mean? I don't defend stream snipers. It's a shitty thing to do. However, I don't think a game dev should have any say in what somebody does outside of their client. Well, except they already do anyway. You're not allowed to use, like, macro programs and shit that are technically outside of your client. Like, don't you think it's a bit unfair to use the Rust community as a representation of the gaming community? Not really, because the player on a Battleground community is more or less the same. Oh my god, again with these retarded fucking things. Back in 2013, I was writing an exam, and the TAs accidentally attached the solutions to the first half of the exam. Should I be blamed for using the cheat and be failed, or should the TAs be blamed and I get a pass? The solution that was given was anyone who cheated got a pass because under such a situation, it isn't reasonable to assume that a person would be able to choose not to cheat. Give me your thoughts. That's a bullshit analogy. Let's make a better one. Let's say that the TA fucking dropped, the, dropped like a fucking answer key or some shit, and you saw it, and you picked it up, and then you used it or whatever. Like, there's a difference between, like, I'm saying, and, like, I'm typing in chat, by the way, I'm going to the school, by the way, I'm here, by the way, blah, 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 by the way, blah, 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 and everybody can see it because they're playing the game, and they see it in the game, and it's part of the game, and they can't uh, not see it, versus, like, oh, this guy that's in the game, I think he's streaming. Let me go to twitch.tv, let me find his stream, let's bring it up on the other monitor, and then let's try and look at the stream to find, like, those are totally different things. There's a difference between somebody being, like, something like being part of the game in there shown at you, versus, like, I'm gonna go to a third-party website to look up this guy's gameplay so that I can get an advantage of him, like, in game like those are totally different things they're not they're totally 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 different things it is a good argument if the game rules allow it and give you an advantage it's fine to do but that's not what we're arguing we're arguing whether or not the dev should have a rule that makes it against stream sniping obviously if it's for the rules then whatever destiny read my donation which one Oh, you only donated three dollars. It only shows up for five. You fucking cuck. Dustin, I think you saw me say this in short already, but I don't think people are making the connection between stream sniping and in-game harassment. Turn it into logical steps. Harassment is bannable. Abusing lobby system to follow someone is bannable. Oh, uh, sure. I think we're talking about the harassment usually, but people like stream snipers because it's entertaining to see streamers get sniped. I'm surprised that's so hard for you to understand. It's just a game and you're the clown for our entertainment. I'm cool with games preventing snipers if they want to, though. Except that's not always true. I'm surprised that you're so autistic that you can't see that. If the streamer gets irritated and stops streaming, or gets moody and doesn't stream for fun anymore or whatever, or plays a little, or cuts the stream early, that's not the viewer is getting more entertainment. And depending on the type of streamer you watch or the type of gameplay that you watch, seeing somebody get sniped isn't always entertaining. If you're watching somebody, especially somebody that's playing like a really skill-based type of game or whatever, and they end up getting sniped over and over again and getting killed, that's not necessarily fun for the viewers. And also, you're always taking these as like one-off things like something might be funny like every now and then but the problem with stream sniping and harassing is it's usually relentless right like usually it's something that happens over and over and over and over and over again if somebody ran into me ghosting and like honked a horn or whatever i guess it would probably be funny if it happened like once or twice but the problem is when it happens every single fucking day every single time you do it do you believe it's a good thing that a game dev is using out-of-game data to justify bans, which is arguably impossible to prove? Those players are by no means cheating within the bounds of the game. It's up to the game dev to do it. When you say, like, outside of the game, you know that, like, macro programs, right? If I use auto hotkey to do perfect recoil in games, that's something outside of the game. Should I never be banned for that? If I use AHK because I want to be perfectly spraying down everybody in a game, do you ban me for that? Because that's totally outside of the game. Can you... Yes or no? Like... I don't know, it's like, it's outside of the game. It's not like he's asking for, like, lo like access to your fucking computer and shit. And they use in-game metrics to decide to ban you or not, right? Blarg. Like
Except that's 100% detectable. Sniping isn't. 100%. Why are people with no experience playing online games talking in my chat? Why? Who the fuck? What have you been playing online games for two fucking years, dog? Are you a fucking kid? How old are you to say something so fucking retarded? There has been no anti-hack in the existence of all of mankind that is 100% detectable ever. If you played online games, if you were part of any online communities, or if you've been doing this for longer than 12 fucking months, you would know that. Why would you say something so fucking retarded in chat on the off chance that I'm like you and I've never played an online game before? Fuck off, retard. You're fucking so stupid. The fuck, dude? Every anti-hack in the history of all of mankind has, has given false fucking positives. How long did it take for the Miss Gemini chick to get banned, right? She had time to cheat on stream to show everybody Clara's fucking hack program on her computer. She had time to transfer every single fucking skin away from her account before VAC finally caught her. What do you mean? Like, fucking anti-hacks are not perfect. There are plenty of people that use auto hockey that, get, that don't get banned for it. There are plenty of people that have been banned under false positives for anti-hack programs. Don't give me this. Well, sometimes it can make a mistake. Is some kind of argument against implementing a rule. That's absolutely absurd. Because even things that are illegal, that we all agree should be illegal, sometimes get flagged as false positives. This is not a valid argument. Fuck. <sighs> Why did stream sniping not seem to rustle you so much when you were playing a skill-based game a few years ago? What? What do you mean? I never talk about stream sniping because I get into autistic arguments like these where people don't realize how annoying it is. And it did bother me a lot in the StarCraft days. It bothered me so much that we got banned from... Remember when we got banned from StarCraft for a week or whatever because we DDoSed Deezer in-game? Because I found that there was a bug inside the client that let you effectively nuke somebody's internet connection and we DDoSed Deezer because he was sniping us every single fucking day, every single game, and we DDoSed him and Blizzard banned us for a week? What do you mean, dude? <clears throat> Are you cute or not, dude? Are you ever going to queue? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> if you use third-party mechanic software to make your in-game mechanics more efficient, how is that not within the bounds of the game? It's 100% affecting gameplay. What if you use third-party software to give you a strategy advantage? Should that be allowed? Like, what if you're- what if you use a third-party software to give you strategy guidelines? Yeah, there's the Hearthstone deck tracker. What about the programs that people used to use that tracked timers and shit in League? Did they ever, did they make those against the rules or not? Do you remember? Oh, Mr. Moten, not talking to us anymore. Okay, my bad. No, never mind. My bad. Yeah, it was imposed about League and making like timers on. Bugs. Don't worry, Mr. Moten. I don't want to inconvenience you with my questions. Okay. <laughs> I can never tell when you're talking to me or stream. Are we actually going there since we got our W for the week? Um. Jump. Yeah, there we go, my dude. My problem with your stream sniping argument, Dustin, is that the rule used to ban stream snipers can be used to ban people for retarded reasons like taking advantage of me shouting my position over mic in a game. What? Go watch the VOD. Hold on. You're fucking retarded, dude. If you can't see the difference between having to go and find somebody's stream on a third-party platform versus somebody shouting at something in mic over a game, like, you're you're too gone. You're too far to reason with, okay? You're like somebody that voted for Trump and wants him in a second term. There's just no hope for you at this point, okay? Like, there's nothing else I can say to you. I'm sorry, my dude. Go look, at, go look for arguments somewhere else. Oh, cool. No guns in any of the fucking rooms. Stream snipers took them all, Mr. Mooten. Yep. Oh, there's another stream sniper. 
Oh, there's another scream sniper. <laughs> right in front of me. Oh, he really did. Oh, that's another hundred bucks Can we for me. talk about the real issue here? The fucking sword has to go holy shit bonus meme ye. Just watch my PogChamp gameplay. Isn't there a way to detect players who end up disproportionately in many games? <laughs> <laughs> in many games with popular streamers? Yeah, there probably is, sure. I don't care about the retweets getting banned. I think the devs shouldn't be wasting time and resources on them to fix such a small portion of the player base. But, like, how many resources are being wasted on this? People are acting like PUBG, like, opened, like, an entire division to deal with stream snipers. Like, they hired on, like, 50 more employees and, and bought another office in, like, downtown San Francisco just to, like, sift through, like, stream sniping bans. Like, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, so I don't understand how so many people are so fucking upset about it. Yeah, that should be like the new, that should be the streamer argument, I think. If people want to put forth the retarded fucking arguments that they do, like, you're a streamer, if you don't like it, then fucking, oh, that's part of streaming. If that's your argument, you know what my argument is? You don't like the PUBG rules? Don't fucking play the game. Go back to H1Z1. That's my new retard argument. If people are acting retarded, that's my argument. Don't like the rules? Go play Hizzy then. Go play a different game, dog. You don't like the rules? Don't play the game. Fuck off. That's my new, that's my new shutdown, alright? There we go. Ban that guy. Which guy? Uh, unban whoever you ban. He didn't deserve it. Oh, he definitely deserved it. That's why I banned him. It was for 1,200. <laughs> Damn, that guy got Just fucked then, didn't free, he? Dude. That guy got fucked, didn't he? Yep. Give me my money back? Nope, it was in the TOS when you bought the game. You should have read it. Get fucked, shitter. Do you want another W or do you want to go to school again? Yeah, I go to school again. Another issue I think people are mad about is PUBG essentially protecting streamers because they make money for them. PUBG listens to Grimm's, but would doubtfully listen to smaller streamers. Does anybody have evidence of this? Of smaller streamers being ignored or some shit when they make a complaint about getting stream sniped or something? Oh my god. <laughs> um, you know what? No, we're going like. I'm going there. That's where oh, I'm going. I Good. So did I. I turned again. What's the big deal with having a stream today like you did for Selling a Daisy? Because it sucks! Everybody knows that it sucks! Ask anybody in chat! For anybody that watches streams, it sucks to watch a stream with a delay. It's a way different experience. Insecure college kids just hate streamers because much money. There are no reasonable... ...logical arguments for going out of your way to defend stream snipers and just make... ...excuses. I'm not affected by this as a viewer, I just think that mentality is petty. Get out of my building, Mr. Cruton. <laughs> Is it cheating to use your stream chat to help you? Um, I don't know. That's an interesting question. Like, if you drop the gun, if somebody in your chat tells you, I'm not sure. But that's not- that's not even close to being on the same level as, like, ghosting and harassing somebody. Like, that's like a totally- Seriously? Lol? That's a totally different fucking thing, you retarded fucking idiot! Are you serious? You think that's on the same level as, like, I'm queuing multiple times to get into a game with somebody so that I can harass them? Versus somebody behind you who's like, yo, by the way, you missed that gun? Get fucked, dude. Fucking retard. Holy shit. Depending on the type of game, I think that you- you could make rules against that, maybe. Like, if you're playing Hearthstone and a viewer gives you, like, chat advice or something, like, if you're- like, if you're playing- if you're playing, like, poker on a site, that might actually be against the rules, right? Because I think they normally have one player per hand rules. Although the problem is, I don't know- the problem is, I don't know if you can ever enforce those rules. Like, if two people are playing poker behind one computer, I don't know if you could ever find out if people are using, like, two people to play a hand or something.
Have you had any positive experiences with stream snipers? Um, yeah, sure. The no, 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 no video in Daisy. Well, I don't know if that was a stream sniper. Actually, I don't think that was. The problem is that, like, you can have a few positive experiences with stream snipers, but that's not what you want. If you're playing games and you stream it, it's because you like playing games. Like, that's what, or at least for me, right? I like playing games. And, and the reason why I want to stream is because I want to stream the experience of playing games because that's enjoyable to me. I don't want to stream the experience of being a streamer and playing games. Like, streaming and playing games as a streamer is such a worse experience than just playing games as an, as an anybody, right? Those are always like the most fun like when I changed my name in league and nobody knew who I was and I could actually play games with people That didn't have a bunch of assumptions about me or anything like going into the game Right, it's the same thing even with dating or meeting people in real life Like when everybody knows you're a streamer and They know your entire history and everything about you like that's significantly less fun than meeting somebody new and making a new friend Or having a new experience in a game where people don't know who you are have a bunch of baked in assumptions about you like Destiny's team made at the start of every PUBG game. Mr. Luton, cause he's lotting trying to find guns, haha. Alright, are we going to the school now? Are you ready to kill people? Yeah, I got a crossbow, so. Wow, okay. Destiny, if you stream games, it's not because you like playing games, it's because you get paid for it. You can't get paid for something that you enjoy? That's the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my entire fucking life, dog. You used to do it for this free. This Friday night, go up to your fucking mom's bedroom and look at the look of joy on her fucking face when she's sucking my fucking dick, dog. She's smiling the entire fucking time. Get banned, shit, or get the fuck out of my chat. You can like what you do and get paid for it at the same time. People that watch my stream know that I like streaming because I only stream what the fuck I want to stream too. I don't do fucking... I don't do sub games, alright? I don't shout out my subs. Half the time I ignore their fucking donations. I don't play the games that they want me to play. I play fucking the worst games on the internet. I play League of Legends. You're gonna tell me that I stream... ...just for the money? When I subject myself to stuff like that? Fuck you. Where are you, Mr. Cruton? I'm on the bottom floor. <laughs> Go figure. Do you hear anybody in here? No, I think it's cleared the fuck out. Nope. The smoke grenade just went off in the pool building. Oh, except Gigantic. I play that game for money. <laughs> but I'll admit if I do it. I got a lot of money for that Are one. Are you talking about it? Was it like in the tens or no? No. But I think it was like two or four thousand for like six Ooh. days, like two hours a day. That's Hell, some yeah, good dude. Shit, my I'll play any game for that. One. Okay, I'll play. <laughs> I'll play for money if I'm getting paid that kind of money, right? I'll play for yeah, money. I just sold the fuck out. Hey, who the fuck is in here? Wait, help! Oh, yo, who the fuck is in my school? Pool building. I know you're in here. I heard you. I saw you smoke nade, motherfucker. Oh! What the fuck? Yeah, I think he DC'd. Damn, sucks for him. F King, welcome me to the Sever Club. We're already. Rifle? Um, yeah, you might go check him out. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't. No, nope, there's Mr. Matten. He didn't. <laughs> Do you think you can jump out of here? Should a player be able to opt out of playing with streamers? Probably not. For what reason? That's the stream sniper, 100%. Did you do the bind? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Why? Dude, that's some sick shit, isn't it, my dude? Do you think that counts as cheating? It might be. It should, probably. Why didn't you kill the dude that drove by in the car? Fuck. Oh, yeah, oh wait. Just... Where, where are you? Where are you? Behind you. He parked behind this. This guy is 100% ghosting. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, they've got the glitch. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Try to kill them when I they're not like, through the wall. Okay. Yeah, I have like nothing. I only have a shotgun or a. Try and be on top of the hill. I think it, you can still walk through terrain. Oh shit. Knocked out one. I killed one. Yep, okay, second again. Play the bitches. Yeah, they had the glitch. Damn, dude, they shotgun fucked this car up. Alright, you ready? Uh, I wanted to loot him. He didn't have anything good. Didn't have shit, homie. So we don't get shot. Later glitches. <laughs> That's what you should have said. Oh man. Uh, that would have been. Uh, they would have LUL'd me. Oh, I haven't talked to Twitch chat at all. Today. What's up, Twitch chat? Let me set the scene for you. I am in game having a gay old time in Pachinki. Shooting some fools left and right. I'm broadcasting my exact position over the in-game voice chat. Re-XD. This is so much different than streaming. I'm not ma I'm not gonna refute this argument again. Like, if you don't understand the difference, I don't know what to say to you. Fine, Grims. Let's go honk at him, okay? Oh, shit. Bro, I'm gonna guess. Ask me if I care. Okay. No, I don't, actually. Don't ever tell me when I'm running out of gas again. Fucking Knight Rider, dude. Is Twitch actually working, or? It is working now, yeah. You have 3,600 viewers, of course it's working. Such more viewers than you've ever fucking had in your life. You just oh my god, I was looking at chat. Let's go. No, never mind. Let's go. Keep going. This car is a strong car. I see some Mr. Moon subs in there. How hard would it be to hands. spontaneously? I think you're asking like, how hard would it be to black your shit? It's really hard, okay? Like, it. You just just trust me when I say you can't reasonably do it. People have anybody that's watched my stream when I play Daisy or Rust knows that you just can't do it. If people want to snipe you and you've got over a thousand viewers or you've got really dedicated haters, they will find you and they will snipe you, okay? They have a very special set of skills. A set of skills honed after years of doing like a particular set of things, okay? They will find you and they will kill you, okay? It will happen. In DayZ, you will get found in the middle of fucking nowhere in the northeast area of Philadelphia. Like, ask, like, you're talking to the guy that engineered, like, the most popular DDoS solution on the internet. If there was a way to keep from getting stream sniped, I promise I would have figured it out by now. Or there would be, or every streamer would be doing it, right? Notice that there is no streamer that says that they can stop. Okay, let's go. That they, that they figured out a way to stop stream sniping? If somebody had a way to do it, everybody would just be doing it. Like, I, f I figured out a way. You just don't have viewers. <laughs> Got him. Oh, there you go. This is a good building to camp. This is a good one. Are there people up here? I do get your point, Destiny. I know no, that example is retarded, but the rule to ban stream. Snipers can be used to ban people there, I think. Both examples are a choice to put yourself at a disadvantage in the game. Okay. Alright, my dude. Oh, this is a good roof, Mr. Cruton. Oh no. Do you have any extra 762? Uh, no. I don't even have a weapon. That's, are you fucking serious? I don't have a rifle, yeah. Listen, I've won games with this crossbow. Six kills. Five with a crossbow. A W. I'm lethal. Why do you use the word retarded still? It's 2017 and it destroys your ability to have a cogent argument. You know what, dude? I think that my argument is plenty, plenty understandable. I use some words that might bother you. I still use autistic, okay? I use retarded. I'm sorry if that bothers you, okay? My bad, my dude. It's just the way that I talk, okay? I used to be much worse. 
I'm making progress, okay? I have to communicate to the to the plebeians in their own language in order for them to understand me, okay? If we used elevated vocabulary or vernacular, they wouldn't understand. So we have to bring it down to the retard level. <coughs> Throw in a couple of those every now and then. Fuck off, Mr. Moon. I sent you a private Skype message, don't talk about it on the stream. You can check it after your stream, too. Think about it, okay? Alright. Did you watch Total Biscuit talk about this on his podcast? I sure have. Total Biscuit, though, is not a streamer. And most of what Total Biscuit was saying was fucking retarded. And what he was posting on Twitter was fucking retarded. And the way that he posted it on Twitter was fucking retarded. He literally posted a tweet and he said, I'm going to post this poll here, but it probably won't mean much because it'll get hijacked. And then when he got the answer that he wanted, all of a sudden the poll was valid. He said, well, look, I'm surprised. <laughs> they all voted in my favor. Like, bullshit. Go fucking figure that Total Biscuit, a YouTuber's audience, would be okay with him saying you can add a significant delay to a video when most of Total Biscuit's audience does not watch live streams, like, or watch him as a live stream. Total Biscuit is a YouTuber, okay? Fuck, I jumped out because I have ADHD. I'm sorry. I'm coming back in. Why not hide the video and audio for like one to five minutes before every game? Do you understand how cancerous that's being? Like, let's say that we die like three times in a row. Like, I've got to spend like 15 minutes out of a, out of a half hour gameplay, like hiding and queuing and shit in the background. And, and that's not even guaranteeing that people can't get to me. Like, yeah, Richard Lewis's was mainly what I was responding to, but there were so many stupid fucking arguments that he used. I like wrote quotes down and I didn't even feel like, feel like going over all of them because they were so dumb. Like, this quote, There are challenges to what you do. It cannot just be sitting down and streaming games. It's not a bed of roses. Like, okay, are you? do you think that the only challenge that a streamer has is when people harass them in games? There's plenty of other challenges to streaming. Sitting and doing anything for eight hours in a row and being verbal and extrovert and talking to your audience? For some people, that's literally impossible. There are a lot of shy fucks in chat today that could not fathom talking to a bunch of people listening to their stream for hours and hours and hours. And you've got to do it every single fucking day. And you've got to be in a good mood doing it. Are you somebody that gets depressed? or moody often, then you're not going to be streaming for a long time because you can't have fucking moody or depressed streams. You always have to be on. You always have to be relatively happy. You have to let most things roll off your bat because if you get moody, moody or you let them impact your mood, your stream is going to suck and your viewers are going to be upset and you can't turn off the stream because if you stop streaming, then viewers are going to get upset. Like, it's a, There's a lot of shit that you have to do to be a streamer. Not to say you don't get paid a lot of money for it depending on how big you are, but still, don't act like streaming is super fucking easy and anybody could fucking do it. Like, It's especially ironic that somebody that makes a living talking about video games would say that. Like, how mad would you be, Richard Lewis, if somebody said, why is this guy on ESPN? All he does is he talks about Counter-Strike. He just talks about a video game. Like, how dumb are you? Like, what the fuck? Like... Dustin, you have to talk and play and you not have a mental disability? Damn, you are talented. Nashtag. 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 I will give you... Let's see. What should we do? A thousand dollars? If you can stream 40 hours a day, or I'm sorry, 40 hours a week for like a month and be entertaining and happy the entire time, do you think... Do I uh, get this offer? No, fuck you. You don't, you're not even able to do it. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of <laughs> you're the not even player. able to do it with 100 plus subs. What do you mean? I stream for like six hours a day now. Um, oh, anytime wow. I can do it. Really? Let's check, let's check out Twinge. Let's go twin up, Mr. Let's twin up, Mr. Mooten Stream. Let's check see how long out. this little happy camper, right? Check it out. Today it was lower, but check it out. Okay, we're gonna look at games. Last seven days. Twenty-seven hours. Oh, you're at a That's decent part-time job there. 
Last yeah. 14 days. Oh, 68 hours. You're almost at, I also almost at 80 to, there. I also go to school. What do you yeah. do? Sit on your ass and play video games, yeah. boy. Well, that's because I. that's my fucking job. That's your job, yeah. But yeah, it is hard. If you go to school, you've got other things to do. If you've got a family or like a kid, right, that can complicate things as well. If you've got a relationship, go to that'll complicate things as well. Yeah, tons of things. <clears throat> All right, I'm going. Good luck. Where are you going? We have to move, you fucking retard. Look at the map. Don't call me the R word. <laughs> Twitch doesn't like that. You're right, my bad. Twitch chat. My homies. What up, Twitch chat? Can you play devil's advocate now and present a coherent and defensible argument from the other perspectives of defending snipers? It's really, 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 really hard to. Like I said, like, when you lay it all out, it's really hard to defend people that ghost. Um... Like, I can present- I can present alternate arguments for most things. If we're talking, like, public policy or, like, immigration or foreign policy or, like, I can give you- you- I can usually give you pretty good two-sided arguments here, but, like, you're asking me, like, what's an argument? Well, let's see. If I wanted to make an argument for defending griefers, I would have to approach this as, like, a libertarian to game rules, right? I would- it would- it would be the approach that, like, um, game devs should make as few rules possible. I don't want them dedicating resources to anything that's not very relevant to the game itself. Um... So therefore, I don't think that stream sniping or most forms of in-game harassment should be illegal. That's just part of being a gamer. Like, it would have to be like a more general rule. I don't think I could provide like a coherent argument to defending somebody ghosting, like harassing and stream sniping somebody. Like, that's a really hard thing to do. To provide a good one? Going up here, dude. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, you know that song? Nope. Sorry, fuck. I was watching my chat. Are you? Oh no, never mind. Spam the copy pasta in Twitch chat. I will unban you if you do. Ninety-five percent of people are angry about sniping being banned or upset about streamer privilege in online games. Yeah, but what is streamer privilege? What does that mean? And how do I get it? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I thought we were going up this mountain. I fucked up, Mr. Moon. Do you want to just go here? I know where I want to go, Mr. Moon. Where's that? All right, are you ready? This is our getaway vehicle if we need it, okay? What is- can somebody tell me my streamer privileges and how I exchange it in-game for fucking dollars? Like... I guess, like, if you've got streamers- Okay, here- okay, wait, 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 okay, hold on. Oh my god, I got it, okay? Wait, how did you get up there? Oh, you didn't. Okay, I can think of- I can think of some games where it might be legitimate to, like, uh, maybe stream side people, or some people that maybe should get stream side, okay? Here we go. When you talk about streamer privilege, okay? If you're talk- if you've got people- Oh shit, there's a guy climbing my right over here, Mr. Wooden! Oh, I hit him! I hit him once! What? You couldn't even hit him once, you're an idiot! Because I got a 4X on! Where is he? He's Fuck! Dead. I fucked up so hard. Get the 8X. I did. <laughs> I should have put my shit on. I'll take that backpack. Never mind. I, I need, need these guns. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> what was this guy doing? Where's the gun? Sorry, okay, if you play like World of Warcraft or some shit, or maybe if you play Rust, if you've got people, if you've got streamers that are getting like their fan bases to work for them or some shit, to get a fuck ton of free shit in game, you could argue that these people getting stream sniped. Actually, that would be the best. If somebody is leveraging their fan base for a massive in-game advantage, then you could argue that somebody like that should also deal with getting stream sniped as well. If players are going out of their way to help you in-game to give you an unfair advantage because you're a streamer, then you could argue that those players should get sniped, right? There you go. That would be that's that would be an, an acceptable stream sniping defense in those particular cases. So people say that I did it in Rust, but you're moving backwards, okay? Like, I didn't want to do it in Rust. I never wanted to play with 50 fucking people. If you ask Mr. Mooton, or if you ask a Syrian legend or anybody else that I played with, I wanted to play that game with a group of five, like, friends. That's how did I always... 
what? originally tried to do. Yeah, we that's what we tried to do. I wanted. Yep. Yeah, I only wanted we, to play Rust with a group of friends. That's all I ever wanted to do. I'm glad you brought this example up. All I wanted to do was play with, with small gangs. That was by far the most fun I ever had in Rust, was playing with just a few people. But I could never, ever, ever do that. Every time I would do it, multiple groups of five-plus people would always be riding our dick. The, and I even said this specifically when we streamed Rust. The only reason why I started to recruit my entire fan base to work for me is because... <laughs> is because if I have to deal with the bullshit of being a streamer and getting harassed because I'm a streamer, then I'm going to take advantage of the advantages of being a streamer, and I'm going to leverage my fan base. That's why I started running the massive slave camp and shit in Rust, of course. But at that point, I stopped complaining about stream sniping, right? I, w I wouldn't complain about stream sniping because it just happened. I knew it was going to happen, but I had my massive people, like, slaving for me, so it was whatever. But, um... Oh, we have to move. Good. Let's go. Um, do we want a vehicle in? Yeah, probably. Oh, wait. Uh, we, should, we could go for the bunker. Cliff. Here, I know where the vehicle is. I marked on the map. I'm on the way. We're gonna take damage now. Hold on. Is that Grimm's donating? Oh, never mind. There is no way to defend wait. stream sniping. Somebody's All taking our vehicle. arguments make the logical leap that using Let's just leave. the streamer's feed wait, is it's somehow not... something what? they I'm, have I'm not fighting in the blue. You're all alone. Good luck. because it's... Available. It's a child's Are argument you? for ignoring. Yeah, I mean, I knocked one out. The other one's yeah, but... almost dead. It's all right. It's just go ahead. Homie. No, just I'm leave. running back. No, it's too late. I can't get down there now. Where is the guy that you knocked out? He's right at the car. Where is the car? Am I close to it? Uh, just keep running. Keep running straight. Oh, yep, yep. I see it. I'm dead, homie. Well, he's dead too now. Yep, I gotta kill. I'm not gonna make it. One more second, I'm dead. What? So I wanted to, I wanted just to kill him real quick and then grab the car <laughs> and go. I don't think we could. Could we really run it in at that point? Yeah, we were so close. Well, we should have just ran it in originally. <sighs> Biker man, there's no way to defend streams. Having all arguments make the logical leap that using streamers' feed is somehow something that they've been invited to do just because it's available. It's a child's argument for ignoring one's own low will of power. Yeah, sure. I don't even address his argument anymore. It's a stupid argument. Isn't Bike Man a streamer? Is he? He's like a Twitch admin. I think he is. Oh, a, a Twitch admin. What are you doing in here? Wait, is it Bike Man or Biker Man? Why did I never play Ark? I don't know. Bike Man is the guy that had a Big heart streamer. attack? Oh shit, you're not even dead, my dude. Good job. I don't know fuck this. I don't know fuck anybody is okay. Good. All I know who Trihex is. He had open heart surgery? Dude, at this point I'm so traumatized I couldn't even do it, man. I could just imagine being in the fucking hospital. The doctor fucking, the anesthesiologist comes in and puts you out. And then the doctor is standing over you with all of his tools smiling at you. And he whispers into your ear, Kappa. <laughs> and you know you got fucking ghosted in the hospital. And then he fucking kills you, dude. I wouldn't be able to do it. That's how that's how PTSD'd I am from dealing with fucking ghosters, dude. Bikeman got to start stream sniping Lyric? Wait, is that true? Uh-oh. Well, Greek God X actually did get his start streams, I think, Kylie. But Greek's funny as fuck, so. Uh oh, he's in my chat now saying that's not even close to true. Holy shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck you, Mr. Man. Don't tell me what to do ever. You think it's Blue Hole's responsibility to deal with stream snipers and protect streamers? You could say that they use streamers to average the game and now they don't really need them anymore. What do you mean by their responsibility? I mean, it's not their responsibility. It's their responsibility to do whatever the fuck they want. They don't, they're not a publicly traded company. They don't have, like, a board of directors. Their responsibility is whatever the fuck they want it to be. We're not talking about what their responsibility is. Like, should it be their responsibility to protect anybody from hackers or from harassment at all? Like, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I sure. we're just talking about whether or not, I guess, like, they can have this rule without people freaking out. Or whether or not they should have a rule against, like, stream snipers. Like, whether or not, like, it's... 
their responsibility to do anything is like a whole other... It didn't reload? You all saw me slam the Megan! Oh, now it's reloaded. Okay. Good game, click hole. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Are you serious? How could I miss so many shots? Wait, 1911 is 45. Mr. Moon, where are you? Oh, you... <laughs> Mr. Moon, what, in the, what are you even doing? Do you have the bug? No, why would I have the bug? Did you have the bug? Uh, no, I didn't have the bug, but it showed on my screen that you had the bug. I don't know. Didn't load in the texture. Oh, well, at least uh, I got to dude, ruin you know, the game for really three good right now. You know what sounds real good? What? Taco Bell. Why? Are you hungry? A little bit, but I'm not... I mean, if you're not hungry, I'm not hungry, right? Help me. I'm not okay. ready to go. I'll go get something to eat in, like, um, after this game, okay? Shit. Where are you going? Taco Bell? Um, I kind of just want a drink. I'm not that hungry. I went to Hulu, okay? Ugh. What about the people that Q snipe to play with their favorite streamer, but then play completely by the rules and don't cheat? I mean, like, if you're doing that, we're never talking about you because nobody should know anyway. Like... Right? If that's what you do, I guess. Personally, I don't like the idea of that, but it would be impossible to find people doing it, so it's not really enforceable. But the problem is that usually when people, um, when people snipe you, usually people are doing it to modify their game experience to, to get you as much as possible. Like, for instance, if I'm playing League of Legends and a jungler snipes me, he's usually not sniping me because he just wants to be in the same game as me. He's sniping me and he's gonna ride my fucking cock for the entire 40 minutes that I'm in that game. He's going to be wasting flashes and all of his spells to get to me because he wants to kill Destiny and, like, every fucking experience is gonna be like that. Dude, changing my name in League has been, like, one of the best things I ever fucking did. Notice that I did it, too, and I got to Diamond 5, like, three days later. Not that they're related at all, I'm sure, but... Fuck. People are upset about streamers having access to the devs and your instant player support with the ability to get people banned. Okay, but nobody- if people are getting banned for reasons why they shouldn't be, then that should be addressed. Nobody is saying that streamers should be able to get anybody banned. And as for, like, having access to, like, important shit, I mean, like, I imagine that, like, any time you've got somebody that's extremely beneficial for your- like, that just speaks to the success of the streamer, right? The streamer is a big figure that has a lot of people watching them because they enjoy watching them, and there's gonna be a lot more eyes on the game as a result, so sure, they're probably gonna get priority in terms of, like, helping, but it's gonna be the same way for literally everybody. Like... Are you ever, like, sitting at an airport and you're, like, in a Delta waiting thing and they're like, Oh, hey, by the way, Sky Miles with 50,000 or more points or some shit get automatically upgraded to first class. And you're like, Oh, why do you give your, why do you give your diamond level people instant upgrades? Like, that's bullshit, dude. Like, I paid the same money as he did to get on this fucking flight and you're gonna give him access to first class upgrades before me? That's bullshit, right? Or, like, somebody shows up. Oh, my God. Look at all these stream snipers, Mr. Moon. <laughs> look at all these frags. This might be the most people I've ever I've seen ever land at this seen. school before. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm and I'm going... getting the perfect landing. Are you? Yeah, I'm going right on down. Well, I'm already dead, I think. Oh my god. What it's the laggy. fuck? There are so many people here. This is actually <laughs> retarded. Holy shit. This. this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's the honk. Get Grims. Where's Grims at? You heard the honk. Get this kid. Get this kid banned. I think honking the horn in this game should be a bannable offense. Full stop. I don't think it's on the devs to provide protection for the streamers. The devs are the only one that can. I think it's under Twitch's responsibility because it's their service as well as YouTube. What? No, Twitch shouldn't be banning people for shit that goes on in a game like that unless it's like blatant harassment that falls under their TOS. It would be on the devs to do it, not on Twitch. I'm here the joy of driving next to an urban area and spamming the horn and seeing a shotgun kill pop up on the UI and knowing that he was only able to rush whatever huckster had yet cornered because he drove by and covered his footsteps. Wow. Yeah, Total Biscuit doesn't interact with his audience's chat. Of course he doesn't care if there's a stream delay or not. But most streamers built their built their fan bases on interaction. 
Like this whole stream wouldn't have been possible. The conversation that I'm having now, or any or any conversation with a viewer, it's already annoying. Like we accept it now because it's become the norm. But even doing this under 15 seconds sucks. If I would have been able to stream at Chatterbait earlier when Twitch was down, dude, we would have had a whole different type of stream <laughs> in more ways oh. than one. Dustin, you talk about wanting to have a normal gaming. Ex- okay, one more, Mister Man. Then you can eat. Want a normal gaming experience, yet don't mind the benefits such as access to the devs that are allowed to you because you are a benefit to the game slash game developer. It's a bit inconsistent. I mean, talking about access to the devs for support and shit isn't really modifying your game experience. Like, if you're talking about, like, getting a bug fixed or something, like, I don't really think that's modifying the game experience in a way that's dramatically different. I don't understand. It's not like I want the devs to give me, like, a power-up gun every game that, like, one-shot people or some shit, or I want the devs to, like, make my character invulnerable or something. No, you just want to play the game normally. Yeah. I'm glad I get paid a lot of money and don't have to cry on stream for a living. First of all, I make more money than you. Secondly, I don't cry on stream for a living. I'm talking about one shitty thing, okay? Everybody, no matter what fucking job you work, probably has a shitty thing as part of your job, okay? It just happens, right? So because you're a streamer and you get paid money, you lose the right to complain about anything ever? Fuck off, dude. That's such a retarded fucking argument. Like, why do people even unironically say this? Like, you would never use this as any excuse for any other argument ever. Like, oh, what do you, you know, like, I'm really mad because, you know, like, my boss is harassing me every day. And he's like, oh, wow, that sucks. What are you doing? It's like, oh, well, I'm a, you know, I work in Wall Street. And you're like, what? You work in Wall Street? Well, why do you care about anybody harassing you then? You make a lot of money. Like, that's such a shit argument, dude. Why do you, why? Why even make it? Like, Jesus Christ. Can you explain the, if people weren't going to copy what Dr. Disrespect did, it would be okay for him to grief on stream argument? Um, I, n- I never said it was okay to grief on stream, but I'm saying the reason why the devs probably insta banned him for that, being a streamer, is because if he does it and he gets away with it, a lot of people are probably going to do it. Huh. Do you think that'd be a cool... I think that might be what it, like, I do my like dissertation on or whatever, is like streamer um, like mental health or whatever. I think that'd be yeah, really maybe. Cool I wanted to do a panel on that on Twitch because that's something that I've noticed. Pretty much every single streamer that I've talked Big to in real life has, has had like severe that, yeah. like emotional, personal life problems because of dealing with... Harassment. Well, you're sitting there being harassed pretty much constantly, non-stop. Well, maybe. Not not necessarily just what happens on stream, but what happens like between streams as well. The problem is that when you're a streamer, like it's never off. Like There are always people writing about people you or talking like, about you or making Reddit threads or making threads on Wallcow or Kiwi Farms or 4chan or whatever. Or playing Nocturne Jungle in your games, yeah. Being Lee Sin. Fuck off. 